The treaties were made by the President of the United States and the Armed Forces Commander, two, and the chiefs. They sat together and they smoked a pipe of peace, and the, this general made out the orders, the treaty orders and everything, and uh, they read it, and they had an interpreter there, uh, interpreted the whole thing. And so the general signed it, and the president of the United States signed it. Congress didn't have nothing to do with it, and the Senate had nothing to do with it. Just the president and the commanding officer. So the education comes from the armed forces, and all the regulations come from the armed forces. So they have to take care of us. And I was in, I was in Germany about five, no, it was about 10 years ago. I was in Germany and I spoke to the armed forces in Germany. They were all there in that auditorium. My daughter was a colonel, and she was sitting there beside me, and the generals were all sitting with her. <coughs> and as I was speaking on the microphone, I told them about what happened at the Little Bighorn. I told them about that, and how the U.S. Army was defeated. I told them about that. And all you could see, you could see that there's some Indian, boy, Indian boys there in the army. And they just, hey, you know. And while I was talking there, uh, I said that the army, no matter what country the U.S. Army goes to, if they have a base there, they are there to protect the natives of that country. And the way I understand in the, in the treaties, I said, and that's what they do in any country they occupy. They protect the natives of that country. And after I spoke, after I got through speaking, this general got up, or this general came over and he, they called his name, he came over and he said, Chief Baldigo, everything you said was correct. Everything you said was right. According to the treaties, he said that, you said that any, any country the army occupies, they protect that, the, the natives of that country. Now tell me, where you learned that. So I said, it's from my grandfather. My grandfather was a white bull, I said, like I told you. He, he told me that. And I had an experience in Greenland when I was in the armed forces. They brought a lady to surgery. They was gonna have an emergency surgery. They wanted one. So they took her to the army hospital. And they, she was stuck at the entrance. The, the guys didn't know whether they should take her in there for surgery because she was an she was a Eskimo girl, an Eskimo woman. So they sent for the commanding officer of that post. So he came over. What's the trouble? He said. And I was a guard there. During that time, I was a steady guard there. This officer came over and he says, what's the trouble? So they told her, they told him, we're going to take this lady in for surgery, emergency surgery, but we don't know whether they, we should take her in or not. She's an Eskimo. And here he said, he looked at her and he said, take her in, take her in and 
have surgery, have that emergency surgery. Give it to her. And he turned around and he told. He, we all stood there. He turned around and he told the, the personnel, all the guards, officers that was there, he says, any time that the United States Army occupies or has a post in any country, he says, they are to protect the natives of that country. Always keep that in mind, he said. We were, that's the first thing we were told as officers. So I read, I mean, I seen that. When I was in the Army, that was told to us as a guard. And here the general said, that's right. He says, we, all the Army officers went through that. Any, any country we occupy, we are to protect the natives of that country. So when I talked to the chiefs, they said, what if, what, if, what if they turn the army on us? So I said, it never could be done, never will be done. I said, they're there, they're here to protect our country. The army, U.S. Army, they call themselves the U.S. Army. So, I'm sorry. so that's that's why I said there's a lot of these the arm, the officer and the United States president signed those treaties. Mm 